A so-called space environmentalist is working to make the public more aware about space debris by tracking its movement in real time on a website. He says we need to think about space as an ecosystem. VOA's Indiana Mitchell has the story. Even at the night sky, you won't see thousands of pieces of trash, but it's there. Maura Baja says we are polluting Earth's orbit with old satellites and other retired debris, just like we pollute the land, air, and ocean. It's bad news, and, and basically when things collide in major collisions, two objects become tens of thousands of smaller pieces that then become hazardous to other satellites providing services and capabilities that we depend upon. Ja is an astrodynamicist who studies the motion of natural and artificial bodies in space. He's among a chorus of people who say space trash is a growing problem. He takes a unique position that space trash is an environmental issue. I just felt very passionately about it and it made sense to me. I felt this inner calling. Ja was born in San Francisco, California, but grew up in Venezuela. He enlisted in the U.S. Air Force where he began to think about space. He started studying debris in Earth's orbit in 2006. The orbital highways are getting crowded and the services and capabilities that we depend upon are in jeopardy of being lost to collisions from orbiting space debris. Ja created Wayfinder, a database that analyzes multiple sources of information about objects in space and visualizes what's in orbit in real time. It is currently tracking about 30,000 objects in Earth's orbit. Just 4,000 are functioning. John Cressidis has known Ja for years. He works with NASA, the U.S. Air Force, and other agencies also tracking space debris. Uh, the data's all right there. You can't escape the data. The more you put up there, the more near collisions that you have. The space station's done already over 25 maneuvers because of large debris. Although United Nations guidelines urge countries against creating more space junk, Russia, India, and China have blown up satellites as weapons test, creating thousands of more pieces of debris, he said. The U.S. Congress is working on a bipartisan space debris bill. So it's up to every country to kind of be the, the traffic cop for the people that it authorizes to uh, conduct space activities. Ja is hopeful his work will help educate and empower decision makers to take necessary action. Dina Mitchell for VOA News, Austin, Texas.